tell me, tell me about your opponents and how you differ from them. Well, I think it's really simple. My opponent is a termed out state legislator. Uh, he was also a huge proponent of House Bill 1355, the Voter Suppression Act. The one thing I've stood on the last four years as the Chief of Staff and the Supervisor of Elections Office is to make sure that every eligible voter votes free of intimidation and harassment. So, early voting days have been decreased this year. That is correct. What, why does that make it so much more important to make sure that people are aware that they can start voting now? Yeah. It is. And, you know, I, I'll tell you a quick story. I had a gentleman that was a quadriplegic who was off on Wednesdays. He worked. He's off on Wednesday. And he said that with the shortened days now, if something happens on that one Wednesday, he's not going to be able to get out and vote. I think that's one of the reasons that, that it's just terrible that we shorten the amount of time for people to vote. We should be making it easier for people to vote so that we've got an all-inclusive democratic process. Now, the... You're in a very special position because you're running for supervisor of elections. Going around to polling places today, have you been taking any mental notes? And if so, what are they? Well, I have. I've been around to several places today, and uh, I'm very pleased with what's going on. You know, one of the things that when I came in in 2009 was we doubled the number of check-in stations at all of the early vote sites. Um, right now, as we're standing here talking, at uh, almost 3 o'clock, we've already voted right at 15,000 people in Hillsborough County since 7 o'clock this morning. I think that says a lot for the, the practices that we put in place at that office, increasing the number of check-in stations, and also making sure that we've got great training, that the equipment's working and working properly. Any thoughts on why candidates at events like this tend to be either Democrats or not incumbents? Any thoughts on that, or is that just a coincidence? <laughs> So how about... I've seen, I've seen uh, other elected officials out here today, too. So. Um, how about the early vote in general? Why is it? Why do you think folks should take advantage of early voting instead of just waiting until November 6th? I can, I can tell you that the easiest answer in the world is because November 6th is not the first day to vote. It's the last day to vote. You get up November 6th and you've got a flat tire, you got a problem. You get up November 6th and it's storming. I mean, we're right here with a hurricane off the other coast of Florida right now. You know, what happens if you go to get up and you've got your kids who are sick and now who's going to stay home and take care of the kids? Don't get shut out. There's plenty of opportunity to vote. You can go by our offices and pick up a vote-by-mail ballot, fill it out, leave it right there at the office, cast your ballot right there and get it over with. Can voters still do that or did that end with early voting? No, we, we will continue to actually mail ballots out. Uh, October 31st is the last day to request a ballot be mailed to you. But you can pick them up at our offices also, at any of our four offices. And as a matter of fact, our office out at the Robert Gilder Election Service Center on Falkenberg Road is open every Sunday from 9 to 5. You can come out there, get an over-the-counter vote-by-mail ballot, fill it out, sign the envelope, put it in the ballot box. If folks have a mail-in ballot and they want to bring it to a precinct during early voting hours, can they turn it in there? If you have a vote-by-mail ballot, you can, number one, you can put it in the mail. And let me just let you know that there's no postage required. We have paid the return postage on the ballot. Additionally, you can drop it off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> sure, I cut that part out. Additionally, you can drop off your ballot at any of our early vote sites. There's a ballot box at every early vote site. Or you can take it to any of our four offices. What you can't do is take it to a precinct on election day. It must be in our office by 7 p.m. on Tuesday, November 6th. Plenty of opportunity to bring it, though. And again, postage is paid. Uh, if you're worried about it getting there in time, though, bring it to our office and drop it off.